Hi guys, this is Basco Berry here. In the last scenario, we have seen how to concatenate the first time and last time and how to load it into the target using the expression transformation. In this scenario, we are going to check uh, some uh, conditions before uh, loading into the target and uh, doing some operations on that. Um, using the expression transformations, we'll be achieving the scenario 4 here. Okay, the scenario 4 is like a check checking the source salary. There is a column in the table. I'll show you here. These are two tables. These are source tables S underscore salary. Here we have some column called salary here. What are what we are trying to achieve here is if the salary is less than five thousand, then add some thousand to that salary amount and load it to the target. If it is more than five thousand, then load as it is into the target. Okay. So we'll start with the demo with that. Again, go to the designer, go to the source, import the table from the database. Salary, click OK. Similarly, load the target table. and create a mapping for this load sal salary click ok drag the source data from this and um, I'm using the expression transformations to check the condition. dragged all the rows into the ex uh, expression go here and add one more extra field to this new salary it won't be output Here you can write the expressions for this using the conditions. Take the if conditions here. Here the if condition is nothing but if apply the conditions. If that is true, that expression one will be here, will be output in the will be outputted. If expression is false, that the condition is false, then the expression two will be displayed. So if what is the conditions we are trying to achieve? So if you see here, first if salary is less than five thousand. So what I'm going to do is if this is the if conditions. What are the checking? Uh, what are the columns I'm checking? If salary less than five thousand. If this condition is true, then what I'm going to do? I'm going to add thousand to the salary. Otherwise, I'm just going to give the salary as it is. Just validate. Okay. Click OK. Apply. Okay. So load it into the target. Name. DOB. New salary. And created it. I just. Let me add one more column for this, one more field.
this is it validate okay okay now we have mapped all the things validate the mapping mapping has no any errors so save that to the repository and open the overflow manager so last time we have created this overflow close this create a new one load salary click ok so for this session I am selecting the map m underscore load summary that the mapping which we created just now ok edit the properties instead of a can directly give here in the mapping only source it is from source db salary it is from target db apply ok and connect this both using this similarly we can have multiple if conditions in that uh, expression transformations which I showed you just now okay. validate the workflow it's valid so I'm going to save this workflow and uh, start this workflow before this let me check in the target table what I have any data no data so it source is so much let me check with the monitor so this is running here so this has run successfully let me check in the back end ok so that now you can see here that the salary was increment if it is uh, 1000 so it's less than 5000 so it's incremented by one more thousand so it's totally 2000 for hari it is 3000 for pavan it is 4000 for berry it is 5000 but for sweetie ayub and mala there is no change in the salary that is because I have given the condition that if it is less than 5000 then only add one more thousand to it okay suppose if we rerun it again restart the task let me see what happens what is the changes it affects is done so if we run this again there is no change to this like Rahul again it has been repeated same values but if this is a situation whereas in uh, data warehouse if you see the staging tables will they'll be using a staging tables temporarily to store the data so after the each run the staging tables have to be cleared so that the new data will come into the store will come and store into the staging tables so in that scenario we can't go and manually delete this uh, uh, table data in this table we cannot uh, truncate this from here 
so what we are going to do is we are going to add this situation also in the workflow sorry in the session click here in the mapping before loading into the target we have that uh, some attributes like pre sql post sql layer so we need to go before loading before running in this uh, session what we need to do we need to truncate the table so what i'm going to do i'm going to write this truncate table this this salary click okay apply okay so let me run uh, save this and run this again so it has succeeded let me check in the table so what happens here if, if i check again see i have only one now just now ran records has been populated so this helps us to not use manual truncation of the data from the table thank you for watching this video please do subscribe